Hello and welcome to Organic Edible Garden. Today we're going to look at sowing some of our winter root crops. Root vegetables are an essential part of our winter diet and complement our leafy greens. Radishes, for example, are said to be the most nutrient-dense non-green leafy vegetable. Other than radish, we're also going to plant today some turnips and some daikon. And like carrots and parsnips, all of these root vegetables like to be sown directly into the soil. They do not like root disturbance and if you do that, often they'll just go to seed. The other plant we're going to plant today is kohlrabi. And although you can plant this from seed, I find it best to grow the plants first, just like beetroot. One of the most important things when planting your winter root vegetables is having free draining soil, which is quite easy to achieve in a raised bed like this. The other important thing is having a bed high in organic matter, and it's been coming from a bed like tomatoes, which has been well manured. With your root crops, we need to stay away from our high nitrogen fertilizers. So we won't put things like blood and bone or our animal manures in there, which will make a lot of leaf growth and not enough of the root. With my new washi, I'm gonna make shallow trenches, but you can use the back of the handle, the back of a rake, or even your hand to make these trenches. I'm gonna bring them in from the sides, because afterwards I'm gonna go and put hoops down, and I don't want the netting to interfere with the growth. I'm gonna start with some radishes. And with all of these guys, I haven't made them too deep in the soil. The general rule of thumb is you only need to plant them as big as the seed. I'm going to sow these seeds reasonably thick. There's no guarantee of how well they're going to germinate. And if I get a really good strike, I can thin them out as I need them. And in warmer climates, we can sow radishes all year round. They're up in about a week and we can usually eat them within the month. Turnips like radishes are really easy to grow. These grow really quickly and we harvest them about the size of a golf ball. At that stage they're great in salads, but you can always cook or steam them. The third root crop we're going to grow is daikon, which is also part of the radish family. These are the long, white, icicle-looking radishes you can buy in Asian supermarkets and food stores. Most Asians cook these, but I find them grated raw into salads. Now all I need to do is lightly cover them and pat them down. And at this time of year, there's enough moisture in the soil, so there's no need to water them. And unless your soil is really poor, I'm not even going to fertilize these guys. They'll do well by themselves. Our final root crop is kohlrabi. This is one of my favorite winter root vegetables. Like its cousin, the radish and the turnip, this is really easy to grow. You can plant them reasonably close together because they don't get too big. The kohlrabi is a cross between a cabbage and a turnip and tastes to me like the crunchy heart of a cabbage. So when it's ready, I peel it and I just grate it raw and make kohlrabi slaws. You can also stir fry it or even boil it. 